Now, what a week it's been for boxing. Chisora and Hay will fight again. This time, though, it will happen inside a ring at Upton Park. Over 20,000 tickets have sold. More on that in a minute. Although neither at the moment hold British Boxing Board of Control licenses, the bout will go ahead after the Luxembourg Boxing Federation uh, agreed to sanction the action. Well, before I speak to Frank Warren, this is the story so far. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot David Hay. Listen, I'm going to physically shoot David Hay. Derek Chisora's boxing license has been withdrawn by the British Boxing Board of Control due to his actions before and after his defeat by Vitaly Klitschko in Munich. He clasped me. He clasped me. Derek, put down. No, no, no. He clasped me. Just three months after their brawl in Munich, it's been announced that Derek Chisora and David Hay will fight in the ring this summer. The bout will take place on July the 14th at Upton Park. Neither fighter has a British licence following their brawl, so the bout will be sanctioned by the Luxembourg Boxing Federation. The amount of people that come up to me in the streets daily fight Derek Chisora. More people ask me to fight Derek Chisora than any of the Klitschko. No, I mentioned that, people just want me to fight Derek because they, they, they seem to have a a real dislike for the guy, because the guy, the guy is not a nice person, he's not a nice human being. I'm looking forward to the fight. Right now, I'm not there yet, but after six weeks of training, I'll be there. Six weeks will be enough. Six weeks will be enough, intense training, and then the rest of the weeks we're just going to shut them up. The British Boxing Board of Control said those behind this proposal are not concerned with the interests of the sport of boxing. Anyone who participates will be deemed to have terminated their membership. We are uh, being licensed for the show by the Luxembourg Boxing Organisation, which the Boxing Board of Control recognise as their fellow members of the EBU, WBC, BA, BF and uh, IBF, uh, IBF. So, um, to me, it's, it's a non-issue. Well, that was all in the last 48 hours or so. Well, you know what, it's pointless uh, ruminating and dealing with rumour and absolute rubbish. That's what's happened all week with that Peterson stuff. He was a drug cheat on Monday and he was still a drug cheat when the fight was called off 72 disgraceful hours later. I've got Frank Warren on the phone who uh, manages Derek Delboy Chisora. Frank, last time I spoke to you, the Board of Control had been silent. Now they've come up with anybody who takes part in this, who holds a British Boxing Board of Control licence, will have will be deemed to have terminated their licence. Is there is there any um, something hidden in translation there? Well, you know, first of all, it's, it's, that's a bullying tactic from their point of view. Um, they can't do that. You know, they, you know it's, it, it's not... Uh, lawful what they're saying and i certainly will be suing them for libel talk about the interest of boxing they've made comments about health issues and so mm. forth you know the luxembourg we was very clear and clear and precise what we did about how this all came about and the reason it came about is because the british boxing board of control chose not to ban Derek Chisora. Mm. and everyone was to get the story right they keep talking about bans there's no bans and the yes. boxing board of control uh withdrew his license and they said he could reapply for it uh, Any time he liked. I'm not saying he was going to get it, but he can reapply. Mm. They also uh, there was also an appeal in, pro in, in, in process. Uh, they also said that if he wanted to box in another jurisdiction, that's up to him, as they don't license him. Well, that's what's happened. He's taken the license out with another jurisdiction, who are affiliated to the European Boxing Union. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have granted him the license, um, and what's happened is legal. It's funny. I spoke to uh, one of the guys from Boxing News today, and he said to me. You know, I want to see the fight. He said, but it's too soon. So, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't get that. I said, what do you mean by too soon? He said, well, it shouldn't be happening yet. That they should be making any money out of this. Maybe, you know, in a, in a little while's time. So I said, but they're both free to box. Mm. Neither, of, neither of them are banned. Mm. And the bottom line of all of this is, is that what I got to do? You know, what is Derek Chisora got to do? Have a self-imposed a ban that he can't earn a living. I mean, that's that's where we are. So, so just, border just control. No, let me tell you, the border control on. messed this up from the beginning. That that is in their hands to deal with it. They dealt with it very badly at the hearing. I'm, I'm to bleated on about that for a long, long time. Sure. It wasn't done properly. They it was them who dis, decided decided to delay the the uh, appeal, not me. That was their decision. 
it's amazing. You have a press conference, and then an hour, la- hour later in the afternoon, you get a, you tell you get a date for an appeal, which is now the second July. But it's taken us to call a press conference to get the appeal date. The whole thing with, with the with the boxing border control is that they is, is what they're doing is absolutely illegal. I am suing the boxing border control. That's over their li- comments. That's over libel. their comments in their statement. One hundred percent suing them for libel. I've, I've taken advice on it, and I and I will be and I'll be issuing a writ against the border control for that. Um, yeah. I don't. I, I just don't see. I just don't see what what on earth they are. You know, that behind the scenes, they've been approaching different commissioners to try and get Luxembourg banned now and all this nonsense. Oh, this is like, well, like governing commissioners for the WB, the WBA, yeah. WBC, the IBF. Are they going down? Uh, is that the well, route they've, they've chosen they've, they've to attack you on? EB, they've approached the EBU, and the EBU have said, no, what's happening is nothing that, 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 that is nothing unusual that happens in mm. Europe. You know, I think all over Europe, Europe, yeah. Austria, Austria. Well, even this week, the Klitschko's announced a fight in Switzerland who have their own governing body, mm. but it's going to be under the German regulations. You know, uh, sale and events are under are Austrian license, but they live in Germany and all their rents in Germany, and they do, do it with an Austrian license in the German territory. Mm. It's nothing unusual whatsoever. And what what I find really, really is galling about this, there was a, you know, if this fight was to take place abroad, yeah. There would not be a whimper about this. It'd be, well, we don't license, there's nothing to do with us. That's what it would be. So, the fact that, sorry, just one. Go on. They didn't, they didn't, you know, we've had all, all the, uh, you know, the usual suspects come out. Sally Barry Hearns come out the woodwork complaining about it, how disgraceful. The same guy who won the purse bits uh, for Julian Jackson years ago when he when uh, he, he was going to fight Earl Graham, and, and Julian Jackson was found, found to be blind in one eye mm. and went to fight. And they, they then took the fight to Monaco, who a French federation in part. Monaco wouldn't take the fight. The board quite rightly wouldn't let them do the fight here. They then wound up in Spain. The fight went on in Spain. The board supplied, the board uh, had officials there. They all the license holders, Barry Hearn, I think Brendan, Brendan Eagle, Harold, 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 obviously. All of them fought there. None of them were in any trouble. The board just virtually. Well, in virtually, they turned a blind eye to a fight with a guy with one eye. So, so <laughs> they turned a blind eye to a fight with one. Well, eye. that's what happened. No, 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 you know, and it's just, and this is just so, you know, you know, if they, if they honestly think, you know, that they can make statements like that. They, they, they have a have a have a that, they, that the border control should have just stood by their decision. They made their decision. End the story. But e- e- equally, Frank, if they'd have made the decision to ban him instead then of been banned. Th- th- then it would have been banned. Then this fight wouldn't be happening because he'd still be serving well, a ban. No, there, there would be an appeal. Uh, an appeal, there, but yeah, assuming there, the appeal there, was rejected. Right, but, it, but and if he, and if and if if he if he won the appeal, if he'd overturned it, who knows what happened? But, but, but at uh, least it, at least it'd have been an independent body. Yeah, let, 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 let me get this straight now. Let me clear up one or two of the, the when uh, we can't do we can't even do a one percent of all the stuff that's being said. Let me let me get this clear from you now. Let me hear this from you. Had Derek Chisora been banned for a year, you would have appealed. Had that appeal been unsuccessful, this fight wouldn't be happening, would it? Of course it If Derek Chisora was banned. banned, this fight wouldn't be happening. Absolutely. Bang. That, you know what? That, that's just about it. So that goes back to why wasn't he banned? The Border Control decided to suspend him or suspend his license and not ban him. You can't have it both ways. You can't have of it both ways. Of course you can't. It's one, it's one or the other. It's not, and it's not sticking two fingers up to the board. It's the board who said at the, at the end of the hearing, if, if, uh, he, if he wants to go and get licensed by another commission, he, he can that's do. up to him. And you, that's what he's done. You know what? It's, uh, it, it, it's taken a, a serious a, a serious twist and turn this year. I know that this week, rather, I know there'll be more twists and turns, and I, I have a feeling we may have to do updates every single week. Frank, well, listen. Show, listen, this show is on. Mm. This show will be policed correctly. I mean, some of the stuff that, you is know, that- Journalists, some of these journalists have been writing to that football fans and all this garbage. It's like that. It's like they want this stuff to happen. You know what annoys me? I, at the press conference, I specifically asked. I said, "You know, does, does any journalist want to see this fight not go on?" And there's, there's two of them I asked by name. But one of them said, "No, I want to see the fight." Mm. A couple more. Not one. So does anybody not want to see it? Not one of them said a word. Because you know why they don't say a word? Because they have that. They, they they can't. Look you in the eye and have, and, and they're entitled to their views, but they can't look you in the eye and do it. It's all like you, you take if somebody's saying no, then you take that. Well, there don't seem to be any opposition here, mm-hmm. and then off they go. 
and 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 worst of all, the, the, some of the some of the stories that have been written are totally inaccurate. Derek Chisora is not banned. He's if not I banned. read that one more time, yeah. he's not banned from boxing. Yeah, you know what? I, it's driving me absolutely mad. Listen, Frank, thanks very much for your time this evening and for. Uh, sharing with us uh, one or two of those points and clearing up one or two of those points. Frank Warren, who's the manager of Derek Delboy Chisora, who will fight David Hay at Upton Park on July the 14th. Thank you very much indeed. Listen, 